prism is any 3D shape that's the same the whole way through. So what I mean by that is you've got a shape at the front and then that, shape, that same shape is extended backwards. So if you cut it down any point, if you cut it down any point, you should still get the same shape. So you can get any type of prism, you can get so triangular prisms, um, cylinders, they're prisms as well because it's the same shape the whole way through. You have one shape at the front and it extends backwards. So because of that, to find the volume of a prism, you have to find the area of the front, the area of the, it's called a cross section. So area of cross section, so the area of the front of the shape. So that area, this area here, multiplied by how far back it goes. So multiplied by the, the length of the shape. So that any prism, the volume is the area of the cross section times the length. The area of the front of the shape multiplied by how far back it goes. So we're going to follow that rule. So the volume of a prism, area of cross section times how far back it goes. So here we're going to take this as the front of the shape. So we have this as the front of the shape. So the area of the cross section is 2 times 5, which is 10 centimetres squared. So 10 is the area of the cross section, and it goes back 3. So it's 10 times 3, and that's 30. Its volume is measured in cubes. In this case, it's centimetres cubed. So it's the area of the front of the shape, the area of the cross section, times how far back it goes, and that works for any prism. So here we've got another prism. We've got to work out the area of this front shape, the area of the cross section, and multiply by how far back it goes. So we'll work out the area of the front shape. So we've got six the whole way along the bottom, one here, so there's five centimeters here and three the whole way down the side, one here, so another two centimetres here. So the area of this bigger shape is five times three, which is 15, and the smaller shape is one times two, which is two. So the area of the cross section, the area of the front, is 17 centimetres squared, and it goes back four. So it's for the volume, it's 17 times four, which is 68 centimetres cubed because it's volume. Okay, here we've got a triangular prism. So the area of the cross section, the area of this shape here, multiplied by how far back it goes. So the area of this here, so triangle, it's half base times height. So half times six times four, which is three times four, that's 12 centimetres squared. So the area of the cross section is 12. How far back it goes, the length is 20. And 12 times 20 is, well, 10 times 20 is 120, and double that, so 240 centimetres cubed. OK, so if you can try these questions, pause the video and give them a go. So remember, it's area of cross section times the length. How area of the front times how far back it goes. Okay, so we'll start here. So the area of the cross section is half times base times height, which is nine centimeters squared. And so we've got nine times, it goes back 25. So nine times 25, and that is 225 centimeters cubed. So this shape, we need to work out the area of the compound shape at the front. And we've got two, eight, so six centimetres here and three centimetres here. So the bigger rectangle here is five times six, which is 30 centimetres squared. The smaller one is two threes, which is six. So the area of the cross section is 36 and it goes back 10. So 36 times 10, 360 centimetres cubed.